Christian Turner is 20. His opponent is only 22 years old. Turner, two inches taller, has a six inch reach advantage on the arms. And the reverse is true on the legs for Cheyenne Serrano. Pro debuts tonight, five fights, five winners, narrowed down to two finalists by the league. The celebrity panel then selects a contract winner. That winner appears in the PFL 2022 as a developmental prospect. Lauren says it's round number one. Andrew Glenn says we're ready to go. You ready? You ready? Christian Turner in the trunks. Inside leg kicks from both. Cheyenne Serrano in the Valet Tudos. Well, this should be a fun one. This was one of my picks for fight of the night. Turner looking for a takedown earlier, early here against Serrano. Temporarily able to get Serrano to the ground. Serrano right back to his feet. Up and not quite down. Serrano able to maintain balance. Yeah, got the lift, wasn't able to finish though. Serrano immediately attacks the legs, lands a nice combination with his hands. Nice move off the center line there for Serrano. Turner comes forward and initiates another clinch. They exchange knees to the body. Serrano doing a good job of using some defensive wrestling to create space. Likes to put together some nice combinations. Beautiful spinning back kick there to the body. Left hand touch Turner as well. Cheyenne Serrano. Oh, head kick. Tell you what, I'm not sure Serrano has missed a shot. Been very accurate so far. Very precise with everything he does. There we go, nice combination there from Turner. Blitzing attack from Turner, pays dividends with that hook. An exchange of leg kicks here, Randy Couture, hot start in this affair. Absolutely, great balance showed by Cheyenne Serrano and not giving up that takedown, he was way up in the air. Great combinations, both guys got great skills, very, very good matchup. Vitor, can they keep oh. up this pace? Wheel kick from Cheyenne Serrano. Nice chain work there. Serrano continues the forward pressure, knee taps and gets Turner down, but Turner right back to his feet. Yeah, what, what? Serrano is doing very well. He's very using his uppercuts. He's using his techniques. He's understanding the pace of the fight. He's putting the rhythm. And I think Serrano is, 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 is optimized the positions of the fight. So he's frustrating right now, Turner. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, sorry, Sean. He, he really is firing on all cylinders with his wrestling, with his striking, his kicking game, his boxing combinations really on point everywhere. Kenny, they have been all over this cage, traveling back and forth, running barrier to barrier, side to side, scrambling like this, constant motion with 90 seconds remaining in the first round. Yeah, I mean, the lightweights tend to bring it. They are bringing it tonight for sure. Turner looking for that takedown again. He has been outgunned so far on the feet. Let's see if Turner can put Serrano on his back. Looks like Turner might be hurt to the body there, Sean. Yeah, grimace on the face of Christian Turner. Sharp knees from Serrano. And look at the push, just walking Turner all around the cage. 
And, and again, I'm just so impressed. Christian Turner, only 20 years old. Cheyenne Serrano, 22 years old. The level that we've seen tonight from these young men, very, very impressive. I suppose we should have expected it on a night full of pro debuts, but the <laughs> yeah. combined age of these two fighters is still south of where some of us are sitting. Yeah. Low blow here, pauses the action. Turner will try and bounce it out. You good? You sure? Watch the punch, watch the punch low. A punch low, not as common as a knee going errant. Yeah, it looks like he threw that punch as Turner was throwing a knee and miscalculated there. Turner's okay now. Look at how he mixes it up. Just a beautiful level change here. An excellent counter there by Turner. Nice defensive wrestling by Turner. A little moral victory at the very least there for Christian Turner, stopping what was an excellent entry on that double leg. Yeah, for sure. And he's setting it up with his feints. He's setting it up with his striking. Beautiful stuff. We'll take a look at some replays from round number one as the fighters get advice from their corners. So nice inside kick there from Serrano. A couple of hooks from Serrano from the outside. How about that spinning back kick to the body of Turner? And he's done a good job of really mixing up all the different levels of his strikes. A wheel kick to the temple of Turner. And here's that beautiful outside trip there, getting the takedown, almost moved into side control there. Just everything he's doing, precise, smooth, yeah, technical. What a first round there for Serrano. The break is over, round two ahead here. Lightweights inside the cage, Christian Turner and Cheyenne Serrano, both making their pro debut here in week seven of Challenger Series action. With a contract, become a millionaire. That's the dream. Can you impress the celebrity panel and Ray Seffo enough to be invited to the season? It's not outside the realm of possibility. Nice push kick from Turner. Yeah, excellent job, and that's what he's got to do, stop, stop. being the longer man. Step back, step back. He's got to use those long range weapons. Now put it in, here we go, Six here we go. Six foot tall, getting those legs Fight. involved, I think will suit him well here against Serrano. Tell you what, that was a dangerous uh, request from Turner to the referee. He lost his mouthpiece while they were still in striking range. Right. Yeah, gotta protect yourself at all times. Can't really ask for timeouts in MMA, unfortunately. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Absolutely, Sean. And these are the long range weapons that Turner needs to land. And now Serrano comes forward with a combination and ducks under. Once again, strong counter wrestling from Turner. And he jumps onto a guillotine. Oh, wow. What, what a comeback this would be. It looks like Serrano's in a much better position, though, able to fight off that, that wrist and saves himself, but Turner really kicking it up a notch here in round two. Tell you what, he stymied the takedown attempt first and then jumped on the neck, giving Serrano a lot to think about in the second frame of this fight. Well, the corner of Turner is gonna be feeling a lot better about how this round is going so far. What an adjustment from Christian Turner. Cheyenne Serrano just tried the exact same outside trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christian Turner elevated the leg and said, no, I'm gonna toss you instead. You know, sometimes it takes guys a little bit to get started. I was a slow starter for, I think, the beginning of my career, and Turner really making the proper adjustments in round two, and he just seems way more intense, way more focused here in this round against Serrano. Three-time NCAA wrestling champion at Penn State University, Bo Nickel. Bo, we've seen a lot of grappling in this fight, a lot of pushing back and forth, going cage side to cage side. What do you think of the pace here? The pace is crazy. You know, these guys are definitely in good shape, um, pushing each other around, both of them utilizing underhooks. You know, that stuff wears on you a lot. So, you know, the fact that they're uh, in this good shape still keeping the pace up, just a testament to their training. And uh, I'm sure you know, both these guys are working hard and they're showing it out here that they put a lot of work in leading up to this. Round two, slightly more than halfway gone. Turner, stiff jab. 
Yeah, and another left. And Sean, he's making great adjustments with his striking as well. He's not falling forward. He's not blitzing or sprinting towards Serrano. He's keeping his base. He's landing shots from the outside, using long-range weapons like jabs and push kicks down the middle. Incredibly impressive, the adjustments that Christian Turner has made. Just, uh, he is, this is his fifth MMA fight. He was 4-0 as an amateur. This is his pro debut, as we've stated. Five fights in, and he's already listening to coaching that well. Randy, how long did it take you to absorb coaching in between rounds like that? <laughs> that is a challenge, and that's having a voice that you trust and hear at practice every single day so that you recognize that voice in the heat of it in here. Christian Turner got tired of letting the other guy lead the dance. In this second round, he has stepped up, and he is leading the dance in this round. You can see the, the strikes. They're almost even. Vitor, is Christian Turner taking over? Yes, Christian Turner is believing himself. That's what's the key of Get this. Out of the gloves, guys. The, the Give fighting it to in MMA, you gotta believe in yourself and believe in your skills. So one thing he has to understand, every time that Serrano is a go for lefty, if he's attacked because he's a right-hander, so he's go to lefty to just to kick. As you can see now, he's getting the fight, the momentum. It's all about rhythm, you gotta stay. He has to advance, he has good jiu-jitsu and trust himself. Todd Gurley, is the difference here conditioning? It looks like Turner's still going strong. Serrano might be slowing down a little. Um, great conditioning. Turner, Turner's doing a great job this second round, being able to come back and, and make a comeback. Um, he's just, just, I'm just waiting for him to bring out that killer instinct. I know he has it in him. He just has to bring it out, and it looks like he's believing in himself more and more. Christian Turner inside the guard of Cheyenne Serrano right now. Ah, oh, stop. headbutt. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stop the time. The referee will pause the action. Over here, over here. Oh, we'll take man. a look at the rebound. That, that looked like a pretty obvious headbutt. I'll, I'll defer to you on this replay, hand, Kenny. Right, don't do that. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if he was trying to posture up and he was pulled down or if he was actually trying to initiate that headbutt. Right here. See here. Oh yeah, that's a headbutt. <laughs> there, there was nothing, no other way to really interpret that. That seemed like an intentional right, headbutt. Watch the head. Watch the head coming in there. Here we go. Time in. Referee Fight. decides not to take a point away. Interesting. Restart after that brief pause. Leg kick from Christian Turner, and round two will come to a close. Interesting development there at the end. Yeah, I mean, I think Turner was was saved there, uh, you know, because obviously he was winning that whole round, unnecessary to throw the head, but if he, you know, I think a lot of referees would have taken a point away, and that would have been devastating to Turner. I think he lucked out there. Again, a... Yep. Great yep. right hand at the beginning of round two that took out the mouth guard of Turner. But then Turner just really started to turn it on. Landed beautiful combinations from the outside. Excellent long-range weapons. Was staying disciplined. Beautiful combination there from Serrano. Turner jumped for a guillotine. Tried to get the finish here. Serrano doing a great job of staying composed. Fighting for risk control. Able to defend that. Turner was in control. End of the round and, and decides to throw that headbutt. And again, not a devastating one. It wasn't, wasn't a big one, but it was unnecessary. So we'll see what that does to the level of animosity in this third round. It's probably around a piece. Yes. As we enter the third. That's the way I have it, Sean. I think it comes down to this third round. I'm not sure if Serrano got tired, if he was taking a round off, or Turner was just that much better and smarter in round two. But here he is going right back to work. Beautiful timing on that takedown. And he's got that handcuff position oh. here. Yeah, this is a tough one. He's got that arm trapped. He could unleash with that left arm. Serrano trying to frame out and block that arm. It looks like he's trying to extend that right arm so he can get that back into play. But Turner goes right back to controlling right at the bend of the arm there, Sean. Excellent trap there by Turner. 
keeping good head position so far, landing some good left-hand shots. Nothing devastating, but he's effective and he's scoring. Serrano able to get both arms free again, but he's on his back. Yeah, Turner again just continues to trap that right arm of Serrano, leaving him defenseless on that right side. I'd like to see Turner try to kick up the pace a little bit with that left hand. If he could posture up and land some more blows, I think he could start to hurt Serrano here. His coach is calling for him to step into the half guard, wants Turner to pass. Yeah, he could do it. He could push that leg down. As soon as those legs are open, he could do it with that left hand, push down on the knee and step over. He's once again isolated the right arm of Cheyenne Serrano. Left hand goes back to work. Now he doesn't have that cross wrist, but he does move into half guard now. And I think that was Serrano's opportunity to post on that elbow or hand and, and use the cage to wall walk there, to cage walk and get back to his feet. Now he's trying to do it. Turner, keep a good head position here, keeping Serrano on his back. This is huge for him as he moves into that second part of round three. Serrano, excellent job getting back to his feet here. He's got to do something though. A little over two minutes left in this fight. Oh, Turner getting it done. Turner right into mount, it would appear. Half guard from Serrano. Randy, strong wrestling here in rounds two and three from Turner. Absolutely, Christian Turner stepped it up in the second round, started leading the, the way, and in this third round, his wrestling has been very, very tenacious. I love that seat belt. Never seen anybody pull that off from the guard. Usually it's a much more effective position from the half guard, which is why his coaches are trying to get him to step over into that half guard. Oh, Turner, Turner has to advance on his game plan. So he has, has to trust his jujitsu, and he has to advance position because he's getting the fight on his hand right now. So I feel like, you cannot just fight to win. They got to advance. Right now, advance. Go to the half side. Go to the side. Put your knee in the belly. And, and looking for to finish. That's what's lacking in him. That killer instinct. Well, Todd, both you and Vitor have, have asked for that killer instinct to be on display. We saw Turner just moments ago with some big time ground and pound. He, he's going for the finish. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. He looked like he, he didn't come to play today. Um, you know, he had that first round, but these last two rounds, he's been showing what he's capable of, and, and it looked like his training's been paying off for him. He got a lot of energy, um, so I'm, I'm excited. We approach 30 seconds remaining in this fight. You can see Christian Turner's strike totals climbing. Mm -hmm. Let's work, gentlemen, let's work. Yeah, and that's been the difference. You know, he's picking up the pace. And Serrano has just kind of been fading here at the end of this round. He's working hard to try to get back to his feet. But again, as, as far as gravity goes, as far as physics goes, he has to work way harder here in this position on bottom than Turner does. Closing moments of this fight. The up kicks don't land, some ground and pound does. Fight comes to a close with Christian Turner on top. And we will go to the judges' scorecard on Challenger Series. It's pro debuts on Fubo TV. Beautiful timing on that takedown in round three. Excellent double, drives right through, keeps his feet moving, gets his shoulder in the right position and traps that arm as well. And this was really taxing for Serrano, who again is having to carry the weight of Turner, was fighting to try to free that right arm for a long period of that round. There's another beautiful takedown there from Turner. Keeps the pressure on, gets his shoulder in the hips, tries to advance in the mount, finishes strong, and Sean O'Connell has the official decision.
After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Christian Turner. <laughs> All right, let's get a little discussion here with our winner. Christian Turner, successful in your pro mixed martial arts debut at only 20 years of age. Uh, the first round wasn't what you wanted it to be. Second and third, you came out and won. What was the key to making those adjustments? Um, just listening to my coaches and, you know, it got to a, a moment where you got to, you ask yourself, like, like, what's your why? And, you know, uh, I always heard something that if you really love something, passionate about it, that sometimes God is going to test you and see if you're really about it. And it got to the second round. I knew I was down. He had good striking. And I really had to go in, in, in my spirit and say, like, am I really built for this? You know, uh, I've only been doing it a year and two months. I just got into it, man. And I'm going to get to the top, man. I'm going to be victorious. Um, I need that contract, man. I'm 20 years old. I need that contract. <laughs> I need the contract. <laughs> if he's got this kind of skill set after 14 months of training, goodness gracious. Over to you, JSB. Thanks, Sean. Randy, what impressed you most about Christian Turner's pro debut? Well, Christian, you did a great job. It looked to me like you were letting Cheyenne lead the dance in, in the first round. And then in the second round, you said enough of that. And you started making him react to you and dictating where this fight was going to happen. You showed a lot of well-rounded skills. Uh, you know, I guess at 0-0, we don't know if you're a slow starter. But I think you definitely made the adjustments you need to do. Great job. All right, Sean, back over to you. All right, thank you, Julie. 1-0 as a pro.